Good evening, good evening. Good evening, Mr. Enrique. Hello, Gabriela. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Elena. Hello, Maria Magdalena. Olga. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Elena. Good evening. Hope you are all right. Hope everything's okay. Let us wait a little bit. We know to start. Okay, we're almost starting with the class. I hope everything is okay with you. And that we can have a great time together over here. Uh, Cesar, hello, Cesar. Hello, teacher. Are you ready, Cesar? Yes, I'm ready. Yeah, you have a homework, right? Yes. I... Uh, actually, you have like two or three homework assignments, right? The first one was about pronouncing the 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 AD with regular verbs in the past form. That was the first. Second, what was second homework? Uh, the homework in the the platform. <laughs> Ah, uh, the activities in the platform. That's right. So that's we're gonna see it in a minute. And what else? Because I remember they were three activities. I don't remember. You don't remember about the third one? No. Mary, do you remember? Hello, hello, Claudia, Margarita. I saw your message. Okay, I got it. Okay, I have Juan Carlos also. Well, I have like 12 people connected. And well, I will start with the class. Well, I will check list of things. Remember, that's the first thing I need to do. At the beginning, I will try to be brief. Okay, you are 19 people, but I will, I will check it just right now. Alejandra Maria. Alejandra, are you there? Uh, let me see. Yeah. Uh, Aristides Otoniel. Carlos David. Cesar. Present. Ah, present. Carlos, Carlos David is present. Yes. Okay. Cesar Ivan. Yes, teacher. Over there, right? Claudia Margarita. I saw Claudia Margarita, Concepcion de Lourdes. Good evening, I'm here. Okay. Concepcion, very good. Dalila? Uh, Lourdes. Ah, Lourdes, Lourdes, Lourdes. Give, give me a second. Ah, Lourdes, Concepcion, you don't like? Yeah. Concepcion de Lourdes, me, but you can call me Lourdes. Lourdes Please. is better. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Uh, La, Dalila? Present teacher. Is there, right? Elena? Present, I'm here. Good. Gabriela, Noemi. Present, Mr. Idalia Margarita. Present, teacher. Ileana Janet. Present. Ileana is here. Uh, let me see. Ingrid. Ingrid Morena. Juan Carlos López. I'm here, teacher. Grecia Morena. I'm here. Uh, Liliana Dolores. I am here. Okay. Maria Magdalena. Present teacher. Olga Lisette. Present teacher. Rina. And Wendy Beatriz. Wendy Beatriz. Okay. Very good. I will start. Well, welcome, welcome again. And uh, well, I know that you have been studying about the past uh, form of the ver uh, of the regular verse, right? Ingrid, Ingrid Ventura. Okay, Ingrid, I got it. Uh, 
Okay, I got it. I got your message. And I know that you have been like uh, practicing the way to pronounce the verse in the past form. But remember that I told you to be ready to present information about how to identify when to pronounce uh, in such ways the regular verse in the past. I don't know. What did you investigate about? Uh, lower this. What did you investigate about about the the regular verse in the past form? Uh, <clears throat> no sé cómo pronunciarlo en inglés. Uh, bueno, suenan con D las, los sonidos, las vocales y las letras que terminan en que llevan B, G, Z, D, M, N, L, T, perdón, R, W, y tomé algunos ejemplos. Uh -huh. eh, como por ejemplo, beg, suplicar. Ya. Yeah. Uh, su pronunciación termina con, con D. Eh, call, call, igual con D. Visit, eh, no, perdón. Listen, list, list. Listen, all right. Listen. En grab, grab, yeah. grab, grab, ajá, uh, con los que terminan con T, perdón, se pronuncian con T, son los sonidos sordos, eh, P, K, eh, S, H, no sé cómo se pronuncia. F, H, como por ejemplo, help, help, looked, eh, sniff, y washed, washed. Ah, con ID, eh, que las cuerdas vocales deben de producir una vibración en la, en la garganta. Y los ejemplos son, ah, want, want it. Want to crear and decide. Decidir. Tengo muchos, tomé muchos, muchos, muchos ejemplos de los que terminan en ID y en T, pero me tengo que aprender más bien esa regla. All right. <laughs> well, actually, Lourdes, that's great information. Great info, okay? I really appreciate you have just studied uh, the information now that you know the way to pronounce the regular verse in the past form. Try to put into practice all the, every single time you encounter a verse in the past form, try to apply the rule, okay? Try to apply it. Because I will, I will be like listening to, paying attention to the way you, uh, pronounce the verbs and I will let you know right hey, you forgot about this you forgot about that remember about the rule of, remember about voiced and voiceless that's what you were talking about okay thank you lower this now let me see I, I can see it mm. Crisia seems to be a student who is more than ready to present the information she got thank you Crisia <laughs> okay teacher uh, well, um, I found the the follow information. Uh, some verbs when when no no have voice, you know, uh, we 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 want to use uh, the song T. <laughs> For example, worked, yeah. worked, loved, kissed. That um when when the birds end with with boys, we can use d, for example, smiled, loved, uh, chained, and we can we can use uh, id when the birds end with 
with T and D. That's it. That's that's it, right? So, well, I don't know if somebody. Uh, thank you, Chris. That was that quite quite good, right? So that is very significant. Uh, anybody else who wants to provide info or examples, or you want to show everybody the way you have uh, learned the rules? No. Volunteers at one. Volunteers at two. Volunteers at no volunteers. Wow. Oh, uh, I have Olga. Olga wanted it, right? <laughs> Olga and I don't know, Gabriela, you also want to share info, right? So let us start with Olga and then we will listen to Gabriela, okay? Okay. Uh, la información que obtengo en la pronunciación de los verbos regulares terminados en T. Tengo entendido que siempre se le agrega ED y la pronunciación es T. Eh, ejemplo, wise, mix, no sé si lo estoy diciendo bien. Eh, wise, en los terminados en T. En lo que le acabo de mencionar, este, tiene que terminar con T. Eh, casi me olvidó. F is eh, la che, ¿cómo se dice? Es H. H. Y la otra sería SH. No sé si así es. Ya. Yeah. X y CH. Ok. En la pronunciación terminados con T. Right. Eh, terminados en, en P, H, M, N, L, R, 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 no pronuncia la del final, eso me, se me, me cuesta decirlo. Ok. So, don't la, worry. Eh, los terminados en, en T y D. Needed, working, eh, decidir. All right. Thank you. So, Thank you very much. Thank you. And Gabriela, right? You wanted to participate. Thank you, Olga. That was quite good. Uh, okay. And the, the rules of learning, irregular verbs. Uh, the irregular verbs are those that that do <laughs> now follow follow a specific rule of four tail simply pass. And past participle forms. And um, like regular verbs, whose ending is general, it d, it d, irregular verbs usually trans transform into a complete different mm -hmm. work and example. An example of this is the verb, bread. Um, which uh, in the past for chains to broke, broke. For example, hit, 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 and cut, cut, cut. Um, okay, thank you very much. Now, I will try to be brief because well, I'm, I I have decided to have this post because I consider this information is important, right? And I will try to um, to include some extra info. I just got this verb of regular verbs, and you know, if somebody was talking about a uh, voice, then voiceless, right? Voice, then voiceless. Let me see. We're going to try to get this. Uh, 
we're gonna we're gonna try to get like a clear idea about what's voiced and what is voiceless, right? Somebody say, hey teacher, something about voice voiceless. Is that right? So we have like two sounds over here, sounds or two group of sounds. Uh, we, um, and there is also something over here, T or T. T or T. Okay, so, uh, well, as you can see, we have voiced sounds are those sounds in which whenever we pronounce them, we have, uh, we can, if you touch your throat, if you touch your throat, and then you say, for example, share. Can you pronounce this this verb, people? Can you pronounce this verb? Can someone pronounce yeah. that verb? Ah, huh? sure. No, but the, keep keep the sound uh, at the end of the verb. I would say share. And then you touch, share. you touch share. your 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 vocal cords. Mm -hmm. Say share. What happened share. there? What happened there? Vibration. Ah, there is vibration in your vocal cords, right? Same happens with scared, with dared, with uh, but we have, for example, let me see, because I need to to delete this. Give me a second. So once again, voiced, voiceless, and we have T or D, right? T or D sound. Okay, so in the next part, as you can see, we have, we have, for example, want, 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 and what is the past form? Okay, you have you you can notice that mm -hmm. it ends with T T. So what? we have T over here. They say, uh, I know what the what the pronunciation is. One T. One T. Shout, shout it. Shout no, Shout it. But this is killed. Now T or D E T or D E. Example one till shall read now voiced voiced sound at the end D sound D uh, I told you right uh, uh, yesterday I told you about the three forms so, okay over here for example you have the D sound at the end say shared uh, give me a second it's like shared Scared, dared. I'm exaggerating, right? I'm exaggerating. And over here, and over here, in the next one, we have a want, want, you know, T sound, T sound, one, and shout, one, T, shall read. And if you have add, for example, over here, the verb add in the past form will be added, added, all right? So you have added, T or D, it. Is it clear? Is it clear? Yeah. Yeah, okay. it is, right? It is clear. Yes. Yes. Okay, so later, we are going to encounter, uh, we have more, as you can see over here. Except, accepted, achieve, achieved, ad, added, admire, admired, admit, admitted, adapt, adapted, advised, advised, agreed, etc. So you have a lot of verbs over here. So I hope, well, but, but when you have voiceless, when you have voiceless sound like such as, let me see, such as this one, for example, voice, this is voiceless. If you say ask, if you do that sound, 
and then you touch your throat, you will notice that there is no vibration. No vibration, okay? So if there is no vibration, like in ask and attack, so what is going to be the pronunciation? It's going to be the T uh, uh, sound. Uh, T sound. So ask, asked. Asked. Attack, attacked. But what happened attacked. with assist? Uh, How pronouncing uh, assist in the past? Assisted. Assisted. Ah, very good. Assisted. Excellent. That's the way it is. What about beg? Beg. Beg. D, with this sound at the Beg. end. Behave. Behave. Beg. How do you pronounce, for example, brush? Brush. Brushed. Ah, with Brush. T, right? Brushed. Brushed. Okay. Brush. We have cheat. Cheated. 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 Clap, clap, clap. 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 Very good. Now listen, I will share this link so that you can see it and then you can practice by your own. But the thing is that uh, we need to practice, okay? Por ahí les compartí el enlace para que ustedes practiquen y que no se les olvide cómo pronunciar el pasado de los verbos regulares. Para eso hay que practicar mucho, 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 mucho. De tal modo que ya luego cuando nosotros hablemos eso aparezca automáticamente. Okay, so that was a review about what we started yesterday. Now we're going to get to the platform activities and we're going to see something that's coming. Uh, now, well, yesterday we started about uh, past tense, we saw some exercises. We also studied about pa simple past tense with the verb to be. And also we have like uh, some questions created, right? Some questions created. I told you to study this part, okay? I told you, right? To study yes. this. This was the, the second, this was the second homework. So I will check. We're gonna see this, then we're gonna solve some exercises in the platform. Then we're gonna go over the next topic. Pay attention. Let me know if you are able to listen. Do you listen? Do you listen to him? Do you listen to yes. the audio? As you be able ah, okay. To. Yes. Yes. So let us pay attention because at the end I will ask you to to provide like some information about the video. To ask and answer yes and no questions and WH questions using the verb to be in the past. For example, you'll be able to ask the following questions. Were you born in this city? When were you born? Where were you born? So we're going to try to make sense of this Take two a questions look at that it. you see there on the left. Where were you born? Were you born in Buenos Aires? And the first thing that um, I want to point out is the following, that we're still going to continue to follow that uh, rule that we learned in our previous lesson, which was that we're going to follow the verb to be either was or where, depending on the pronoun. So if I talk about I, he, she, or it, then the verb to be that we'll use will be was. And whenever we talk about the pronouns, we, you, or they, the verb to be that we're going to use will be where. Now, let's try to make sense of the different types of questions that we have. First of all, we're going to talk about yes or no questions. And that will be the second one that you see there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make sense of that question, and then we're going to practice making a few. So um, let me start by writing down a formula. Uh, so the first thing that we're going to include will be the verb to be, and I'm going to go ahead and color this in, let's say, uh, green. I'm going to go ahead and color this subject in, let's say, red. And the complement, I'm going to go ahead and color that in something um, different. I'm going to go ahead and use um, I'm going to go ahead and use blue this time, right? 
Um, and so let's do the following. Uh, let me uh, write down uh, the uh, uh, the birth to be here. And then this is going to follow the subject. And after this, this will follow the complement. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and uh, change the colors there. Okay. All right, there we go. So in order for us to make questions in the past using the verb to be, what we're going to do is we're going to use the verb to be in the past, either was or where. And I mentioned that we need to recall uh, this rule that we learned in our previous lesson in order to understand that. Then this follows the subject. And then this will follow whatever complement that you want to ask. So if you look at our example here, were you born in Buenos Aires? And the answer to this question will be, yes, I was. That will be the short answer. Um, and the negative response will be, no, I wasn't. And of course, this will vary depending on the pronoun. Let's say that I changed the subject now. And let's say that now I want to ask about he. So how are we going to do that? Well, first of all, we need to recall that whenever we use the pronoun he, we're going to use the verb to be was. So therefore, we'll say, was he born in China? And of course, we also need to recall that um, here we can um, use names instead of the pronoun. So was Mary born in China? Was Peter born in China, etc.? So what I want to do now is I want to talk about creating WH questions. And in order for us to create WH questions, we're pretty much going to follow the same pattern. So as you can see, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste this previous rule here. And the only difference that we're going to have in creating WH questions is that I'm going to write some sort of WH word. And what are those WH words? Well, you can see the example that we have on this little chart. We're going to use WH words such as where, who, what, when, why, etc. That's what we mean by uh, WH words. And so that is what's going to um, be included at the very beginning. And everything else will pretty much stay the same. Um, I'm going to go ahead and change the color um, this differently just to make sure that we know what's happening there. So let me do that right now. OK, there we go. So we're going to have some sort of WH word. And then that's going to follow the verb to be in the past. Uh, then it's going to follow the subject and then whatever complement that exists. So if we look at our example, where were you born? Right. So there we let me write the same one there where the verb to be. Oops. And then this is going to follow the subject. And then uh, whatever complement. And then we have ourselves a WH question. And WH question simply means information questions, if you will. Also, if you want to look at them that way. What I would like for you to do now is to practice the concept that we just learned. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to post some questions here for you. And I would like for you to answer these questions and come up with as many others that you possibly can. Try to make those yes or no questions or WH questions. Yes or no questions. All right, so this is information actually with with uh, questions with the verb to be in the past. Were you a good student in high school? That's a good question. How do you answer that question, Carlos, David? Okay. Were you a good student in high school? What? Were you a good student in high school? Uh, I I was... I was a good student. Yes, yes, I was a good student teacher. Okay, now notice about this. Remember that we have been studying about yes, no questions. 
No, this is a question in which you answer yes, I was or no, I wasn't. Okay. okay. Yes, I yes, was I or no. Was. Uh, were you a good student in, in high school? Yes, I was. Yes, you were. Cesar, were you a good student when you were in high school? Cesar? Yes, I was. Yes, you were. Carlos, uh, no, Claudia, were you a good student when you were in high school? Ileana, were you a good student when you were in high school? Yes, I was. Yes, you were. Okay, so remember, when you start with the verb to be at the beginning, where you, was she, was she, was it? So you say, yes, he was, yes, she was. In this case, it's, it's talking about me, right? Yes, I was. Now, when you have a double H question word, at the beginning, it's different because you are asking for extra information. Who was your hero when you were a child? Yesterday you were talking about it, as far as I remember. Somebody says Spider-Man. Hey, who was your superhero when you were a child? Uh, Maria Magdalena. Um, um... Como digo, no tenía héroes, teacher. <laughs> I, I didn't have, I didn't, I didn't have any hero when, when I was a child. I, I, I didn't was her. I didn't have. I didn't have. A hero. A hero. When I was a child. When I was a child. Mm -hmm. Now, what about you, Wendy? Who was your hero when you were a child? When I when I were a child, when I was a child, Mujer Maravilla, I don't know. The Wonder Woman was your superhero. Yes. The Wonder Woman. All right. So, Luis Alejandro, who was your superhero when you were a child? Think about this question because I will ask you also. Hey, how old were you when, when how old were you in 1999, people? Elena, how old how old were you? My my is it I I, I was, was it, I, I was, was. uh-huh. And then you say a year, right? Years old. Ten years old, for example. Teacher in my case. Uh -huh, Elena. Uh, I was two, two years old. <laughs> you 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 were you were two years old. Have you were a baby? Yes. Yes. <laughs> you were a baby, and okay, two years old. You were learning how to say a goo, a goo. Yeah. All right, good. Hey, how old were you when you were in 1999, uh, Gabriela? Okay, now there is somebody. I... <laughs> uh huh. Gabriela? And after Gabriela Cesar? In 99, I, I had not born. Ah, uh, you you hadn't, or you were you weren't born yet. Oh yes, I I was I wasn't born yet. All right, pretty good. Now, in, uh, I don't know, who wanted to say something else here? Well, let me see, please. Uh, 
All right, so I have this one. And for example, you are gonna tell me the best answer. Hey, was you a good student in high school? Where's the best answer? Yes, I was, yes, I were, or no, I were? The first, yes, I was. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Number two, you born where city in this. You need to order the words. You need to order the words. Number three. Where were you born in this city? Hey, were you born in this city? Number three. My favorite subject were math and science. What were your favorite subjects? What were you? What were your favorite subjects? Favorite subject in the school. First, second, or third? First. 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 Which is correct. How many? How many was Peter born? When was Peter born? Where when was Peter born? The, the second. The when second was Peter born. born? When was Peter born? Number five. Choose the best question to match this response. I was 15 years old. The second. How oh, old oh, were you? How old were you? All right. So how old were you? When was Peter born? What were your favorite subjects in English? Were you born in this city? And were you a good student? Yes, I was. Everybody says yes, right? <laughs> I don't know why, but everybody says yes, I was a good student. It's time to remember. Yeah, some people prefer to say that they, they do not remember. Okay, so anyways, well, I remember I told you about homework, right? También les dejé la tarea que nos contaran una historia, una memoria que jamás en sus vidas iban a olvidar. Ok, so saben que les voy a dar cinco minutos para que terminen de afinar esa presentación tan bien elaborada que tienen para que nos sorprendan cuando regresemos después de los cinco minutos. Ok, five minutes. Okay. Five okay. minutes, and then we're going to start with it. Yeah. I have a question. Uh, what is the question over this? Uh, how, como digo, despeinarse? Mm, that is like, okay. you have, you have a, a, a mask with your hair. Okay. Oh? You have a, well, you, your, your hair is a mess. <laughs> Or my, my hair is a mess. Mi cabello es un, es un desastre. No me peiné. I didn't come. No me peiné. I didn't come. Es que yo ya la tengo. Ah, mi historia. What? Pero ten, tenía esa duda en cómo, pronunci cómo, pronunci cómo referirme a, a despeinar. Ok. Te la digo ahorita que todo el mundo está preparando para que no me escuche. <laughs> Are you ready, Lourdes? Yes, I Okay, so let's start. I think it's better. A ver si me comprende. Okay. Sí, voy. Yeah, you can start now. At my high school graduation ceremony, a few years ago, there's wa there was no graduation ceremony because bees unexpectedly came out to 10 years old. Okay. We are run to protect ourselves from from the bites. Many, ay, donde quiero decir des, mucho cabello despeinado. They say um, my hair is messy. No, el de todo mundo. Uh, everybody's hair is messy. Everybody, ah, uh, everybody is. Is. Messy. Everybody is. ¿Cómo se escribe? Every, everybody's hair is messy. Messy. Yeah, like everybody like, is. You say messy. my hair is messy, or everybody's hair is or was hair. messy. The, say, because you're talking about past, right? So you say everybody's hair was messy. Everybody was messy. Their hair and where. Stone, not me. 
that were not an impediment to enjoying the party. Okay, go ahead, please, lower this. Uh, but the bites were not an impediment to enjoying the party the same night. Me <laughs> Je comprends bien. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. Sabe, profe, que por eso me cuesta hablar porque estoy estudiando francés también y entonces todo se me viene en francés. Entonces oh. me cuesta como... Uh -huh. A veces bien. pienso más en francés. <laughs> Yo pienso en francés, es bien. Oui. ¿On va a hablar en francés? Yo parlé un poco en francés aussi. Uh, oh. Let's see, let, let us try with somebody else, please. Okay, so do you need the five minutes? Okay, Carlos, go ahead. Change language. Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, my my history is short um, and funny. I remember, uh, um, well, uh, history that I have no for, forgotten was that uh, at a meeting, they served cake, and I took two slices. And when I and when I went up some steps, I threw away a piece of case and to say, "Okay, I threw away both both of everyone, every everyone at the meeting louder." Uh, it was very funny. It was Finish. a very funny story. Thank you, Carlos. Okay? Thank you. Anybody else? Thank you, Lourdes. Thank you, Carlos. Juan Carlos, go ahead. Well, good evening. In my case, when I was 10 years old, I lived with my grandparents, and his house was near a river. And one day playing with my brother, I went near the river and I fell into the river. <laughs> <laughs> it's all. And that, that oh, was it <laughs> you, you, you didn't tell us if you were able to swim or if somebody yes, else I, took, I, I, took you I, out. I can't swim. Ah, you, oh. you, were, you, you were able to swim in that time. Only. Okay. Uh, Bueno, eh, no sé, me, bueno, me, me mojé todo. Ay. You got wet. Wet, cabrón. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Juan Carlos. Thank okay. you thank for sharing that experience. María Magdalena. My history is short, teacher. Short but funny because you started to laugh just before starting. Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. I remember when I drove along for the first time as I was very nervous that I forget to remove the umbrella and that's it how I drove. <laughs> so I <met> <laughs> yeah, I got it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Magdalena. Thank you. Thanks very much for doing your best. Elena Marisol wants to participate. Okay, teacher, can you hear me well? Yes, perfectly. Okay, Um. well, something that I cannot forget is something, Um. for example, when I was a child, I really liked uh, playing soccer with my cousins <clears throat> underwater. Uh, one time, I remember that I fell, I broke my foot. But the funniest uh, thing was <laughs> was that instead of bragging, I started to laugh. Uh, those times were very beautiful for me. Now, um, they are just memories that last a, a lot. And great, great. <laughs> now you don't want to break you the other the other foot, right? <clears throat> I'm now, sorry. 
now we became older, right? And we don't have time yeah. to play like soccer on the street under the, the raining. Okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Elena. Anybody else? Anybody else? Thank you, Liliana. My history is short. When I was a little girl, my grandmother had a pet bears and a parakeet always strung my little toe when I went out into the yard barefoot. At the a friend's house, a parrot jumped on my head and sharpened its wings. That's why I had the bears. You, you don't like birds? No. I no. hate them. No, no parrots, no hens, no, no, no. little chicks, no. no. How about you? No. But when you have it in the dish, I mean. What? Wait, wait, wait. But wait, when having dinner, just yes, you say, wow, I have, I need, I want some chicken. Ah, yes, yes. <laughs> now then you love them, right? <laughs> Yes. Say, I I want some turkey, and then you remember that you love birds, right? <laughs> that was really funny. Thank you very much. Anybody else? Thank you, Idalia. Your teacher. Uh, okay. After when, Idalia, when, when I was a child. I like it to play with doll. I like it to play hide and sweet. Jump around. I was going to the mall with my mother. I had many friends. I enjoyed with my friends. I studied a lot. You studied a lot. A Excellent. Lot. But you you said that you play that you play hide and seek. What? Hide and seek. Yes. Yes, right. So I think everybody did it, right? Thank you. That was fantastic. Cesar, go ahead with your with your memories. And around ten years ago, uh, I went to the beach with my with my classmate, and we we went to see the sunset in in the beach. Uh, but around 6 p.m., um, everybody uh, came back to the to the to the lodge where where we where we were uh, uh, sleeping and eating, uh, <clears throat> and except my best friend and I. Um, um, 15 minutes later um, <clears throat> it's it was an it was a night and and my friend my pet friend and I um, got loose and and we <clears throat> we um, and we do, we don't knew we don't knew how how came came back we we or or other placemate um but I I had my my safe my cell phone for luck and I I could I could call call to them and and that way uh, we we can we could came back with with them <laughs> because uh, uh -huh. uh, we we don't don't know the the way for for came back okay we didn't know the way to came to come back right we didn't know excellent sister hey that was like you know it's not it's not a funny experience but it, it I mean, I consider that something that you will never forget. The funny part was was uh, 
was to see the face of my best friend because he was <laughs> <laughs> he was uh, no sé cómo decir preocupado. They were worried. He was scared. <laughs> And they were scared, right? Thank you, Cesar. Great experience. Okay, I can see like let me see people who are missing. People who are missing. Thank you, Crisia. Go ahead. Well, my history is not so funny, really, but I remember that all the time. Um, when I was shy, uh, someday I was visiting some friends, and we decided to 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 go to eat pupusa. And we decided to to go in go in bicycle. Yeah. And they asked me, can you ride bicycle? And I said, yeah, of course. Yeah. And well, I, I, I start to to ride the bicycle and I fall. I fall in, in the street. And as a fellow man. <laughs> That was that was not funny, right? Maybe it was funny uh, for everybody, funny. but uh, but you, right? The, the funny <laughs> was that I say, of course, I can ride a bicycle, <laughs> it, but, uh, <laughs> and then you fell down. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna pay attention to. Thank you, Christian. That was really nice, Gabriela. Okay, that's your turn. Okay. Uh, once upon a day. Uh, why are uh was recording a video game? Charlie, Charlie, my brother appeared there in the good day. Hanging, hanging from coconut palm. It was funny watching him moving, but back and forth. He was encouraging himself himself and he kept kept tell, telling him to be careful and not to fall but he inside let me have fun and I respond keep having fun then and suddenly the coconut pan falling down and they both fell on the ground And uh, it was funny because he was. <laughs> hey, there was there. There's somebody there behind you that's laughing about the story you just told told us. Okay, thank you, Gabriela. Hey, listen, listen, people. Uh, congratulations because you are uh, losing. Um nervousness and now you seem to be well um uh, confident about what you're saying but that was really nice uh i will provide a piece of advice that before leaving and i will give you i will assign a humble assignment for tomorrow este lo felicito porque veo que pues este día rompieron esa barrera de decir bueno yo hago esta actividad la presento, trato de pronunciar de la mejor manera, eh, pongo en práctica la tarea que me dejó el teacher, que es lo del pasado de los verbos regulares. Eh, no le voy a mentir, cuando ustedes hicieron sus presentaciones, algunos pronunciaron de manera equivocada ciertos verbos, pero eso no es malo. Lo malo es mantenernos repitiendo los verbos de manera equivocada. Equivocarse no es malo. Seguir equivocándonos, eso sí, posiblemente ya no nos cause eh, como un bienestar, sino más bien estar tropezando con lo mismo. No, ¿verdad? Carlos. Eh, sí, agregar más que todo en este caso que si hay un verbo que está mal pronunciado, nos podría apoyar ahí para pronunciar. Sí, seguro, Carlos. Uh, de hecho, yo noté un par de verbos ahí. Yo no les interrumpo porque fíjense que la experiencia me dice que cuando alguien está presentando 
Y yo interrumpo de golpe y le digo, no, no se pronuncia así. Entonces eso como que corta la inspiración y este, ya no se trata más de que la persona se sienta como libre, como más seguro de exponer, sino que con mi corrección hago que la persona se corte. Entonces, por eso al final hago como un feedback. Ustedes siéntanse lo más confiados posibles de que están haciendo las cosas bien. Al final yo siempre voy a dar un feedback. Por ejemplo, ahora lo que yo noté fue que yo dejé una tarea al inicio, ah, perdón, ayer eh, al finalizar, sí, la, la estudiaron, la investigaron, pero a la hora de presentar todavía tenemos alguna dificultad. Y es lógico, solo ayer fue que ayer y ahora han estado estudiando eso. Entonces, por eso les hago el llamado, sigamos practicando, ¿ok? Porque la, la práctica hace al maestro. Va, vale, miren, antes de cerrar, porque nos quedan como cinco minutos. Uh... Teacher. Tell me. Una consulta. Tell me. Eh, ¿Cuál módulo estamos ahorita? Ando, ando algo desorientado. Intermedio tres. Ah, El perdón, intermedio va. uno, no, intermedio uno, perdón, yo estoy en otro grupo. Intermedio, intermedio uno. uno, sí. Este es intermedio ah, uno. Ajá, porque yo le pregunto porque... Ajá, yo le pregunto porque, ¿cómo se llama? Bueno, hace poco terminamos el intermedio 1, no sé cuál es, si es la... El... Está bien. Sí, sí, es intermedio nivel 1. Ah, bueno, bueno, excelente. Ok. Ok. Ok, Now, antes de seguir cerrando, vale, le voy a dejar dos tareas. Conmigo creo que las tareas nunca nos van a faltar. Eh, con lo que hicieron ahora, fíjense bien, vamos a remachar el día de mañana. ¿Con qué? Con la pronunciación de lo que presentaron ahora, asegurémonos que lo estamos pronunciando de la manera correcta. Van a presentar lo mismo. ¿Okay? La historia que ustedes crearon o que nos comentaron ahora, mañana lo van a decir otra vez. Pero como lo van a haber practicado con mucho más énfasis en pronunciación, eh, les va a salir mucho mejor. Hoy lo hicieron muy bien, pero mañana lo van a hacer mucho mejor. Además de eso, a esa historia, a, oigan bien lo que les voy a decir, a esa historia le, va, le van a agregar cosas que ustedes solían hacer y que ya no hacen. Para eso deben investigar Just Do. ¿Ok? Porque ese es el tema de mañana. De acuerdo, la misma historia, pero le van a... O sea, okay. El objetivo, pronunciación. Segundo objetivo, agregar just to. Por ejemplo, ahora alguien decía, bueno, me sucedió esto, que me caí, eh, bueno, fuimos al río y me caí al río, me mojé todo. Eh, y de ahí le puede agregar. Cuando yo tenía 10 años, yo solía ir muy seguido al río con mis primos, con mis amigos, y me encantaba. Yo recuerdo que solía ir de pesca y ahí le metemos, solía ir. Pero para eso, vean este video e investiguen un poquito acerca de esto. ¿Está clara la tarea? Sí. Yes. Ok, yes. aparte yes. de eso, van a ver este video, yes. el 1.10. Y van a resolver el 1.11. ¿Ok? Y este... Y vean también el 1.3. ¿Ok? 10 y 1.3. Si no resuelven los ejercicios, no hay problema. Pero me gustaría que vean los videos. ¿Ok? Que saquen conclusiones, que investiguen y que lo incluyan en la tarea que ahora presentaron. ¿Preguntas al respecto? Ya ven que hay algo muy, muy interesante uh, respecto a lo que estamos hablando y eso es el reciclaje del idioma. Nunca pensemos que, bueno, ya vimos el pasado y ya, lo, y ya este, culminamos, ya vamos a YouTube. No, inglés no es así. 
Inglés es, aprendí el verbo be, ok, pero le voy a ir agregando el presente simple, de ahí vengo otro, y el, y el idioma es de ir My completo. hair is messy. <ríe> My hair is messy. <ríe> ok. Eh, ok, voy a pasar la lista y con eso cerramos. No los quiero entretener más. ¿Y qué? Díganme. Según entiendo, este, toda esta sección 1 hay que terminarla antes de la medianoche del viernes. Junto sí. con la sección 2 o solo sí, la 1. Sí, por favor. Sí. La 1 y la 2. So, ahorita solo quedémonos con la 1. Ok. Ajá. Solo con la uno. Este, váyanse familiarizando con los temas que yo les voy diciendo. En este caso es Just To. No he enseñado Just To, pero quiero que ustedes empiecen a navegar con eso del Just To. Okay. Se empiecen a familiarizar. ¿De acuerdo? Vale. Sí, gracias. Uh, Alejandra María. Aristide Sotoniel. Carlos David. Present, teacher. Cesar Iván. Present. Claudia Margarita. No. Okay, Lourdes. I'm here. Dalila. Present, teacher. Elena. Present. Gabriela. Present, mister. Idalia. Present. Ileana. Ingrid, Juan Carlos, I hear teacher. Grecia, present. Liliana, María Magdalena, present teacher. Olga Lisset, Liliana, present. A Liliana Dolores, right? Yes. Rina, Rina Margarita. Present teacher. En Wendy Beatriz. Teacher, ya no le contesté. Ok, who's talking now? Olga. Sí, es que cuando yo iba a contestar, alguien habló. Ah, Pero ok. Ok, Olga, don't worry. Let me see, quiero revisar el chat. Claudia Margarita en Ingrid. Ok, give me a second, Claudia en Ingrid. Claudia. En Ingrid. Ok, les, les recomiendo, ya para ir cerrando, les recomiendo no faltar a las clases. Si alguien falta a clases, posiblemente se quede desconectado de la, de la secuencia de lo que vamos iniciando. Ok, si ustedes se fijan, la tarea okay. de ayer no quedó terminada. Okay. Okay. No quedó terminada y este, se le va a dar seguimiento el día de mañana. E inclusive okay. se le va a agregar yeah. algo más que el just do. Okay. Yes. Así que pues estoy yeah. feliz de volverles a ver y espero verlos mañana también a la misma hora y en el mismo canal. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank See you. you. Okay. Thank you. Good night. 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 Good night.